why my favorite wolf and little bug have safely returned. When the windmill at the shrine began spinning, I knew it was you. A most refreshing wind began to blow down on our village. You have defeated Crimson Helm and restored the divine wind. The canine warriors rejoice, but they are a handful as usual. I do not know how to thank you for all you have done. I too would like to give thanks to these heroic travelers. And Princess Fusei, last of the Sotomi house, you have done well. What? You know Princess Fusei? Indeed I do, for I was her husband and head priest of the shrine. My lingering fears about Kusa Village kept my spirit here, but thanks to you, I can now travel to the Great Beyond. Princess Fusei and the Kinan warriors still have much to learn, but I have no doubt they will prosper. I shall watch her home. Farewell. I shall pray for your good health and prosperity. What is it, you two? What were you looking at? Hmm. Oh, nothing. Anyway, Princess, there's no need to thank us. Just keep protecting the village as head priestess of the shrine. I know you have your hands full with those pesky canines. I have been rather feeble since the last head priestess perished. But as head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine, while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in mind. That's the spirit. Look at that. What do you have to say, dogs? You are a worthy opponent. I take pride in knowing we have battled. Aw, shucks. We well, weren't so bad yourself. We prayed for your good fortune. I'm so happy to see you are safe. Thanks. Those power ups you guys had are really something else. We shall protect this village from now from the Crimson Helm. I dropped my freaking Joy-Con again. Really? Well, we're counting on you. Our comrades prayed for you from afar, for our hearts beat as one. You hear that, Ami? Take Hayabusa, uh, take Hayabusa, Take Hayabusa and Ume. Thanks for all your prayers. I thought it said take, but it's Take. Seeing Princess Fusei smile gives us new strength. Wow. Never expected to hear those words from you. I see that you must continue your journey. I shall pray for your good fortune. Well, uh, there is still a lot that we have to do in this village. But anyways, hey everybody, it's Ariel Flair and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we defeated Crimson Helm and a horrible beast came out of it. Still don't know what the hell it is, but uh, most of you people already know what it is. Whoa there, Furball. Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. What was that shadowy creature with those heads really that monster? Our future's pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all these brush techniques too. You didn't even so much as growl at that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? I bet your partner Nagi was stronger than the two of you. Or maybe the legend legendary sake packed a punch. Yeah, it must have been the sake. Ami, the legendary sake is back in that village, isn't it? And isn't it about time for the village's annual festival? Let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. I just might, it just might do us some good. Besides, a good festival is always fun. As if I can get, as if I could, as if I can get Sayaka a little tipsy, then maybe. <laughs> Ami, I suddenly feel like a new man. Let's go. Now, before we actually make it to Kamiki Village, there is something I want to do. Now that we have the winds, there is actually two things that we can do. Pretty sure most of you remember this. There's two things. We, there's one thing we can do on the field, and I think there's two things we can do here. God, I got a hiccup. All right. Now, if we Kodohana Blossom up here. Lucky here. What? Are you kidding me? That was shenanigans. Wait, what the hell? I didn't even know I could do that with the controller. Wow. That's pretty interesting. Okay, let's try this again, and let's not fail.
Ah, okay. Uh, there's a stray bead here. There is a set of chickens. And now there should be one more thing. I think this is a sun fragment? Yes, it is! Okay. Alright, now let's get... Come on. I want it. I'm broke now, but I want it. And now, well, we have four of these. How about we power up this? And we power up this. Uh, since we just got it, let's see what it looks like. Look at how cool this reflector is. It breaks apart and it re- Like, it puts itself back together. It's so cool. So I couldn't get to use it. Alright, now there is one thing in the village. Thanks, loud car. Thanks, loud car. If you remember, we saw another set of Kazagami's uh, scrolls here. And there are a couple of treasures that I did miss in um, the, the sanctuary. So I'm actually going to go back there. Oh, come on. That definitely connected. What? I guess that one I have to take a running jump. Alright, let's try that again. Uh Alright, perfect. A golden peach. Uh, I wonder how many of these golden peaches we actually have. We have three of them? Wow. Alright, uh, now that we have the moon ability, uh, actually there's another thing we can do as well. I just reminded. Uh, the, with the whole, um, with the whole gale storm, I just remember there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do now. Especially, you can do something in Shinshu Field as well. I completely forgot about it. But that's not my takeaway from this. What I want to do is come back in here and change it to nighttime because there was a lot of things that I missed. Like, I'm kind of impressed that I missed so much. But then again, I didn't have the moon to let me know exactly what I missed. Are you not going to let me change it from day to night? There you go. Okay. Now, the thing should start glowing because I know there's a whole bunch of things that I missed. Probably not a whole bunch. See, like this, for example. I missed this. What the hell? Okay. That works. An incense burner. No, there's a couple things that I did miss here. Oh, it's the bamboo man. I didn't even know he was here. Alright, no, so I only missed that treasure chest. Great. Well, that's interesting, because I don't think anyone I've seen anyone show this off. Oh, my precious Kaguya. Ah, there I go again, reminiscing about the past. I get so sad and lonely on moonlit nights like this. Alright, well, I only missed that treasure chest, so I'm going to meet you guys out on Shinshu Field. Alright, now that we're out here in Taka Pass... If you remember, there was a guy who was staring at a pile of leaves, right here.
want to help me dig up the treasure? My pendulum showed me where it was, but I've completely lost track of where that is now. There must be some kind of clue around here somewhere. What about this hole? There! This is it! The treasure revealed is hiding in a place. It, w it, it wants to be found. Precious treasure, you want so much to meet me. Precious treasure laying hidden beneath me. I, the great bingo, will soon get you. Expert excavator bingo. What do you want, Pooch? You like to dig as well, do you? I know, you could help me unearth the treasure. That's the spirit, Pooch. Those claws of yours are destined to hunt out the treasure. Well, I suppose I should explain what I need you to do. The treasure is deep inside this hole. The pendulum shows where. I'm following the path that the pendulum is showing me. So if you could clear the way by digging, that would be perfect. Then the pendulum swinging wildly, that's where the treasure is. Then all you need to do is dig it up. What do you say? It's quite simple, don't you think? Well, I suppose just have to see where your digging takes us. Let's get started. Alright, now there is something new that we have. The Gale Storm is actually a new ability that we can do in here. Um... No. Okay. Okay. Really? Wait, how exactly am I gonna get him up? What exactly do I do to get him up? Does he get up on his own? No! Wait, how is he supposed to get up? What the hell? Wait, how am I supposed to, uh... How is he supposed to jump? Um... Is there no way to get him up? Wait, there's actually no way to get him up? Yes, I will retry. That's so stupid. I'm not risking this small patch. I'm gonna go where the bigger one is. Um... 
Is there anything on this side? Come on. Come on. There we go. God, why was that so stressful? I was like a little frustrated because there's no way to get him out once he's sunken down below. That's so stupid. I guess it was an afterthought. Who cares? What exactly did you dig up? At last, the treasure. I've been searching for it all. I've been searching for it for so long. And now it's finally mine. But what is it? I don't know what would have gone and dug. I don't know what we've gone and dug up here, Pooch. Maybe there's something wrong with my pendulum. No, it looks like I just found something totally unexpected. It's you! Your extraordinary gift for digging holes, Pooch. Any treasure hunter would be lucky to have you on its side. What passion you have for digging holes is a pleasure to behold. Make sure you never lose that passion, won't you, Pooch? If you promise me that, you can have this piece of junk. A sun fragment! I won't give up either. I'll be forever hunting treasure. Now, I will this time meet you out on Shinshu Field. Looks like it could start pouring at any moment. We might even be in for a storm. Yeah, look at how lovely Shinshu Field is looking. So ominous. So beautiful. Alright, now the thing I wanted to do is this. That wasn't even close. You get a godly charm. Charm imbued with the breath of gods increases godhood to max. Alright. Now we can feel free to go inside. So this is what, that's what I call a full moon, come to think of it. Doesn't Kamiki's festival fall on, on a full moon this time of year? Oh no, they're gonna finish up all the sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Ami, get a let out. Get the let out. Jesus, I can't speak anymore. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out this instant, Susano! You have some explaining to do! How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had a reason to drink up all the eight purification sake. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake. This isn't any old festival. It's been exactly a hundred years since Nagi and Shiranui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, greatest warrior who ever lived. There isn't a drop of a purification sake left? Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed it up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, eight purification sake is what saved the day in, the, in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. Yeah. 
the dreaded photo. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool! Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the moon cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. <gasps> huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. <laughs> I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed the unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. <laughs> Then I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me a be. Ever, they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. <laughs> I know that Tsukuyome was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Susano said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Susano, you're no coward! If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can! You can do it! After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come! Wait, Kushi. You're not going to... She also changed her clothes. Girl! Um... That outfit is wet and it's reveal- Okay, never mind. Behold! My thunder brew! The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely you can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No! Kushi, wait! 